Okay, here's a little test on these uh, sets of wings that I've decided, uh, you know, if I look at the, the weight of the wings after they're paper coated, this one's heavier than that one is. You'd expect it to be stronger, and it is. But there's no test like the one I'm about to show you. I've got 200 grams here, exactly the same set. They're matched pairs of wings. This, this one uh, hasn't been quite finished sanded. It hasn't uh, been coated with paper. But if I have 200 gram uh, objects sitting out here, and they're just like teeter-totters sticking out on the end, you see the flex on that one. That has less than a quarter of an inch flex. If I put exactly the same weight on that uncovered wing, you can see the difference. You can see the difference in those two different wings and the flex that's associated. And 200 grams is a lot more stress than you're going to ever put on that wing when it's actually in flight. So, yeah, this wing weighs 30 grams. That wing weighs 20 grams. It's an increase of about 50% over the weight of that one. But even at that, in the overall airplane, you're only adding uh, 20 grams to the entire plane. That's not significant weight compared to what you're seeing right here as far as strength goes. Here I have the wing after it's finished. And in reality, you don't have the entire cord of the wing you're putting the weight on, the pressure on. You've actually narrowed it by the area of the, el of the aileron. So if you look at the flex of that one, that has no flex compared to this one, which has just immense amounts of flex. So for a small amount of weight increase, you have a huge amount of strength difference.